building a bunt or maybe a slow chopper that is close enough for us to get it. So us as a catcher, we always want to remember that we would always rather us field the ball rather than a pitcher. Now, it's also important to know your pitcher. If he's more enough an athletic pitcher who's, who's comfortable with hopping up the mound and, and, and getting the ball that maybe they can get to, then maybe it might be easier for, for them to get it. But we always want to be aggressive when we're behind the play. We always want to take that opportunity to pounce on the ball and make a nice, strong play. As a catcher, it's always very, very important for us to be loud and be active with our voice. So we're back here in our squatting position. We might be able to anticipate a situation where a bunt might be occurring, perhaps a runner on first base. So we're just going to talk about fielding a sacrifice bunt here. Uh, the point of a sacrifice bunt is, of course, that the batter will put the ball on the ground to be able to move the runner from first to second base. So for us, it is very, very imperative that we go ahead and we get that out. If they're going to give it to us, we want to get it. So it's very important that on the bunt, we don't go out too quickly and jump it before the... the, the the batter with the bunt down because what happens is they miss it and now we're in a disadvantaged position to catch the ball. So it's always important, our priority is always to receive the ball first and react accordingly. So on this first one, we're going to have a bunt that is placed down the first base side. My first step when we go forward is not going to be here because this is killing time. This puts me at a disadvantaged position to get the ball as quick as I can, especially if there's a very quick runner. So for me, my first step is always going to be to come out with my right foot first rather than my left foot. The reason why I do that is because my right foot is going to allow me to propel towards the ball on a much quicker basis rather than take a step back. I take my right foot, I step out there, and I start to create a bit of a small crescent towards the ball. The reason why I do this is because I want to be able to round the ball and have my feet on a parallel line square with first base. So um, I'm not running, as opposed to this, would be more of a straighter line where I'm running directly to the ball. Now, if I run directly to the ball, I need to stop the momentum, pick up the ball, and then square my feet in order to make a nice, strong throw. By making a bit of a crescent turn and getting my back to the pitcher and third baseman and having my shoulder facing first base, I'm already in the position to make a good and strong throw. So here, the bun is down. I take my foot. I'm making a nice little crescent turn and I arrive at the ball. It's important, for me at least, this is how I think it should be done, that the ball is pretty much in the center of my body here. The ball is in the center of my body so I don't have to lean back and get it or lean forward and get it. And I normally maybe take a little bit of a drop step like we're gonna go to third base. By doing this drop step, I create a nice lane for myself to get away from the runner and provide myself plenty of space to make a nice accurate throw. So it should look a little bit something like this. Bunt, bunt, bunt. And now I'm here, and I'm ready to make a strong throw. So right here, that's pretty much fielding bonds.